Namaste. Welcome to Divine Energy to Row. I'm Divine Energy. Welcome to my beautiful channel. I like to do spiritually related videos and content. If you enjoy the content, if you resonate with it, make sure you're hitting the subscription button down below as well as the post notification bell so you're always alerted when I'm uploading to the blessed channel. Okay, let's get into it. Hope y'all doing well. Hope you're safe wherever you are. Okay, all right, let's get into it. Mm. Let's get into it. Oh, shoot, this message is for Pisces. I'm like, what is the message for? This one is for Pisces. Where are you this week? What is the energy for Pisces? Let's get into it, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Ooh. Okay. Pisces, you are feeling some sort of emotional loss. Hmm. There's some sort of abundance, Taurus energy coming towards you, Pisces. I don't know if you're aware of this. Literally, the sun. Okay. The sun. Taurus. Okay. But you're still experiencing this sort of emotional loss. They're, they're telling me. Be more thankful. That's why. Because you're not thankful. It's like you're not grateful for for the all. You're not thankful for your demons that put you in certain positions. You're not thankful for, come on, 133. Come on. Come on, Pisces. Talk that shit. All right? Because we're going to talk shit back and forth. Me and you. <laughs> they the final science. Like, I don't argue with nobody but like the eldest child and shit. Pisces. <laughs> Leo. Appreciation. Look at this shit. I can't make this shit up for you, Pisces. I'm just telling you. I already know into where it's at. You just haven't gotten to the thing that you're trying to get to yet, and you just have to be patient. There's something there in the gratitude. Stop having this emotional loss. It's because you isolate. Stop isolating. Stop making yourself go through these things. All right, you go through this shit every cycle. Like, come on, like we almost there. They saying it. We almost there. What do you? What is this? What's the matter with my Pisces? You got a happy outcome. You don't even. See. I don't know if you see it. You, I know you see it, Pisces. This was crazy. Okay, this is what's crazy to me because I know you see it. Tell me, Pisces. Change. Look at this. You've been waiting on this. I know you have. Pisces understands that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Okay, you know that in order to grow to get to your next spot, you got to change something has to change. So, you know that failure, you look at your life like certain things that certain actions you took, it was just a mistake, but it was an opportunity to learn. You've grown from that where you were. Okay, give yourself a little bit of appreciation, give yourself a little bit of honor this week for my Pisces word out. All right, I'm not the host about that because you like in your emotions deeply and. It could definitely be affecting, okay, you at this time. Pisces, oh shit, okay. They said this is the one change. Look at it again. Listen, this is what's the fucking crazy part. This not even the same decks. Hold on, so you can see. Pisces, these not even the same decks. They told me to pull this one. This deck. This is all this deck. I separated them. I had them together like a mega deck or some shit. But and this shit is saying what change? Change keep coming out. You don't understand. You're getting ready to move. You're getting ready to transition right now in your life. Probably just doesn't feel like it. <laughs> this is a nine. Nine represents that you have accepted the change that you needed to accept to put you in alignment with your soul mission. You've already done these things. 20 times over. Just have a little bit of appreciation. It's going to be some sort of happy outcome for you, my my love. Okay? It's the vibration they say. It's your vibration. Raise your vibration, Pisces. During this cycle. Okay? Mature woman, you could also be worried about like an older woman. Or you could also be feeling like, yo, there's somebody that it's like you watch somebody mature or... You know, this could be 
I'm, that's what I'm hearing. It's like some sort of admiration for somebody and like their journey, their process, you know. But this person, I feel like you have some sort of emotional loss. Like in your mind, you try to detach from this person emotionally, but it's so hard. And when you think about this person, it, it probably makes you feel like, damn, you know, that I like, what the fuck? Right? Because you, you isolated yourself from somebody that maybe you, you didn't have to. 520. I can't make this shit up. Pisces this week. Your divine nature is the beauty of all beauty. Excuse me. Beauty. <laughs> your beauty <laughs> is the, your booty is the beauty. <laughs> Pisces, your divine nature is the beauty of all beauty. Excuse me. I don't know why the fuck I just got tongue tied. So did whoever this person is, Pisces, you can have like had like maybe some thoughts maybe you did mess with this person at one point in time I don't know but there's something physical like that you know what I'm saying something about the booty thing cause y'all made me say that like why <laughs> Pisces this week big head it's your big head self says Pisces look not for recognition follow your heart liberate yourself from within there's your life is getting ready to change there's going to be like a whole lot of big changes that are happening in your life but they're telling you to follow your heart and liberate yourself from within you're looking to for liberation from the outside and it's inside you're not free inside so even if you become free what the fuck will you do with it right you have to learn from certain mistakes and just be grateful for the all. I've been getting this message heavy. This ain't even just for Pisces. I might channel this message later. Or at a later time. But Pisces, yeah. You know what? I didn't want to do this. I wanted to do... Um, I'm just going to do Pisces Tarot. You know what? Oh. Yeah, let's do Pisces Tarot. This time. Uh, Pisces this week. Oh. Temperance. Is that the dinosaurs? Will of Fortune. Eight of Swords. a lot of seeds that were planted in previous you planted a lot of seeds in previous uh, cycles to where so much abundance is coming towards you you have no idea you just have to be in appreciation you have to right now Pisces I feel like you've gotten more logical and this is not you you need to go back and see your emotions because not for the sake of overreacting or anything to that nature, but for the sake of feeling, for the sake of you being able to feel through a situation versus try to logically navigate this or logically look at something. Hmm? Okay. Because if you look at it from a logical standpoint, you might look at it like, well, damn, but no, nothing has changed right now. You know what I'm saying? And so what the hell, right? Whereas if you from a more emotional aspect, knowing that, you know, and flow with your spirit at this time. Having gratitude, like connecting, like, hey, I know my spirit doesn't ever fail me. God doesn't ever fail me. You know, the God within me never fails me. I'm constantly provided for. I don't have to worry about this situation. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you operating from that space, right, that the emotional part of you, right, I feel like to a mature woman, it could be like you've grown a lot too. That could be like your maturity, your level up as well. A part of your level up too, you know, shining through this week. Let's get your messages. Come on, let me shuffle this two more times for Pisces. Hold on. Pisces. Hold on, one more for Pisces. Yeah. 
to get into two and feathers, you're getting ready to make it like something really uh, a positive move in the future. Your problem area is right now you feel like you're unsupported or like you're looking for like assistance or something like that. Or it could be like too like you're receiving help, but it's like not the help that you feel like you need or something like something like that. In the future, you're getting ready to celebrate though with this three of cups. It's telling me that. And that's how you ate a eight of pentacles. You were, you planted a lot of good seeds, Pisces. You planted a lot of good seeds. Therefore, now your your uh seeds are coming to harvest for you. So all of those good deeds will not go unnoticed. This is this is just a sense of appreciation for you right now, you know. And that may be just something that's difficult to do in this moment, you know. Especially if you're experiencing like some sort of emotional loss. I don't know, maybe you felt like somebody pulled back from you and now you're pulling back your energy or this person, something like that. But it's like you pull back your energy, um, you know, but these seeds actually planted with somebody, you know, I feel like that, you know, it's worth something, you acknowledging something or you taking a leap of faith, taking a risk on something, you know, for, um, for your emotions, you know, sake, you know, it could be like a romance romantic offer or something like that out here that you felt you know you should have taken advantage of or you should have taken a leap or something like that but i see that in the future with this three of cups you know somebody coming back i could feel it yeah the high priestess this could be definitely somebody who is like you know um very spiritual somebody who's very in tune with uh their spiritual side and maybe like this person maybe y'all disconnect is spiritual maybe you think that they they come they i don't know maybe like okay say like this right say <laughs> you a whole different um religion than this person or y'all have two different belief systems right i don't know It's like you know like that you put in the work and that it will pay off. I feel like you're looking at something like, damn, did I invest something properly or did I do the right thing? That's like how you what you're saying with the seven of pentacles, the magician you did. But see, your magician lacks power without being in tune with all of their tools. That's like me having a really good tool in my toolbox, right? And I never use it though. You see what I'm saying? What good is it, right? <clears throat> also I feel like you know Pisces you could be saving something or you could be trying to preserve something or try to like I don't know if you it's, I'm also getting this organic feel like you just try to do something in an organic way like you're not trying to force anything I'm also getting that you know what I'm saying and because of you not trying to force something um, maybe there's this lack of appreciation and this emotional loss that is creating it you know, you have to understand, like, okay, you don't have to force anything, but it's like an inability to express emotions is blocking you here in this moment, this week moving forward. So I need you to just understand that that's the major message for you, Pisces. Um, yeah, you got the Ace of Feathers, which is the Ace of Wands. <laughs> I'm laughing with you, Pisces, this week. <laughs> I really am. Uh, I'm laughing with you because I know that you want somebody. The lovers is somebody. I'm, I'm laughing because I know and you want somebody. And you playing, like, real close. Like, nah, I don't want you. Like, mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know what I want type shit. That's what you're doing. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm fond of you or whatever, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm fucking laughing. <coughs> I'm laughing with you this week, Pisces. <coughs> Damn, Pisces, you make me choke up this shit. Like, fuck, this shit crazy. Oh my God. Yeah, you got to bring back the appreciation. Your final card is in the Five of Pentacles. It's like you're not appreciating something truly.
you're too logical right now. All right? It's not helping you right now. I, it's nothing else I could tell you. Seven of cups. Ten of cups, excuse me. You too logical. You logical never make you be happy. Logical never make you be happy. But your, if you connect to your emotions, that will. You see what I'm saying? Okay? Ten of cups, your final message. Alright? Yo, with the seven of fucking swords, bottom of the deck. Yeah. Something's coming in, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. And you about to have more, too, in your life, whether you want to acknowledge that either or not. I'm going to pull one more for you, Pisces, this week. Yeah, you getting ready to make a choice. Roll the dice. Didn't I just say you about to take a risk on something? So you got our choices. So you got a lot of choices. Which one do you choose, though? I'm getting that the option that you pick is like you feel like you're taking a risk. Maybe that's why you pull back on this person. You felt like they're a risk. To, to mess with this person is a risk. And you trying to look at something from a logical standpoint, especially about a connection, right? And your emotions is telling you, like, you're going to have to choose your, let your heart guide you. And you're like, fuck that. Last time I let my emotions guide me. You know what I'm saying? But that's not really what happened. But that's the way that you remember the experience. So that's what's holding you back right now from operating in your emotions, all right? That's what you want to tell yourself, you know, because your mind makes up things so that, you know, to help you, you know, to help it basically do what the mind wants it to do. You know what I'm saying? All right. So that's all of us, not just you, Pisces. You know what I'm saying? That's how the mind works. All right. Um, yeah. I love you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this read this week. Peace.